is Carter Sports back and today we head out to Nebraska to check out a four-star linebacker so let's go and if you've been here before can you please hit that like please and if you ain't subscribed boy you better subscribe Disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. And after I did this video, I'm double back, y'all. This to re-edit at the beginning. I gotta let y'all know before I get into the deep analysis of this video. Since I like the kid so much, I kept digging on the kid even after I made the video. And I found out this kid run a 10, 800 meter. He run a 10, 800 meter. You know what I'm saying? It's tough wide receivers in high school that don't even run a 10, 8. So I gotta let y'all know this kid run a 10, 800 meter track speed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we gotta get this kid, man. That's all I gotta say. Chris and Joe's, it's old. He loved USC. He said he didn't he didn't expect the USC visit to be this great. He didn't know all the off the field opportunities. He didn't know how strong a USC degree was, and the visit just blew him out his mind. But I had to go back. I kept digging. I started seeing more track uh, film on the kid. And what? He run a 10 800 meter. Let's go. Power is speed, Christian Jones. Now, back to the video. Or let's start the video. But I had to double back on y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Christian Jones, a 10 8 linebacker track star. Let's go. Trojan family. Trojan gang. Fight on forever. It's in the build. And today, entering into the chat, we got Christian Jones, a 6'3", 220-pound linebacker out of Westside High School in Omaha, Nebraska. Watching this kid film reminds me of former linebacker and Super Bowl champion and former Trojan, Clay Matthews. He plays the edge and he is violent. His pursuit speed is pretty impressive and he hits hard. He gonna come lay that wood, lay that hat, put down that work. He can also cover pretty well for his size. You know, he's not a one trick pony. He's physically intimidating. His motor, non-stop, run like a Hemi, won't quit, really instinctual. Got them instincts you could tell he been playing football since he was a kid. The game, the reaction speed, it all comes natural to him. He in there on go. I like naturals. Christian Jones, a natural. With his frame, he has the ability to add more weight and become an edge player in the future if that's what's best for him, if that's what's needed. My, Matt Entz might kick him down the new and Coach Heaney and give him that dog work or he might stay at the linebacker. Anyway, anyhow, this kid gonna see the field cause his skill and his will. You hear me? You will see recruiting is heating up. Matt Entz could get this kid to commit. Both are Midwest guys who share the same values. You know, Matt Entz might resonate with this kid. You know, they both from the Midwest. They might have something in common. Also, this kid will fit into Coach Lynn's scheme because guess what? He's versatile. Versatility is key when you look at this USC defensive recruiting class. Every player has to be versatile. He can't be a one-trick pony. He got to be able to do multiple things at multiple times with very well instinctually as well. Smart, heady IQ players that's versatile. And this kid is one of those players. He could play the mic or the wheel. He easily rushed that quarterback to 
uh, apply that pressure, bring that wreck, and he could play the tight end in coverage as well. What you want to do, he could rush the quarterback, cover the pass, and help on that run game. You know, this kid is overall top down and bottom, one of them top prospects, four star at that. You hear me? If we can land this kid, we'll be back to be known as linebacker you. You know them days when we had Clay Matthews and Ray Maluaga and Brian Cushing and Keith Rivers. And we could go all the way back to Junior Seau and Willie McGinnis. You know what I'm talking about? The Trojans always had nice linebackers that put in that work. Came in, laid that wood, you know what I'm saying? Kept sticker marks on their helmet. You know when they was playing, it was sounding off all game in them trenches. You know what I'm saying? Every man for himself. Boy might get broken in the half on them field by them linebackers we didn't have in the past. You know what I'm talking about? So we need to get this kid, right? We need to get this kid. I see this kid. I see Clay in this kid. I see potential in this kid. You know what I mean? Plays fast, very instinctual. That's two, that's one of a traits that I love about any player. When you watch him, he got them instincts. Heady IQ. And versatile. You know what I'm saying? So this is the kid we need in the toolbox. This is the kid up under our coaching. I can see this kid shooting to the top. Hopefully we get a kid like this. He had positive things to say about USC on his visit. I'm excited, man, about the players that this in this class and the players that's coming to visit USC. They all versatile. I ain't seen not one player I don't like, and this player I like a lot. You know what I'm saying? This in case we don't get a Noah Michael, even if we, I want Christian Jones with Warriors. But you know, we got Noah Michael and Manny Faramo right in our backyard. We need to get them. But if we miss on one of them, this is why we got to try to get kids like this. Christian Jones, come on down. But if we get Christian Jones, Michael, Faramo, man, we lit. <laughs> and don't forget, Christian Gas. You know what I'm saying? So the linebacker class in 25 looking nice. I ain't gonna lie, looking nice. And, and we kind of shining at the right time. So Christian Jones is adding to the to the list. You know what I'm saying? To the grocery shopper list. Came, like the visit, I like him, man. So hopefully we start trending. Hopefully we get a crystal ball for this kid. Hopefully before the summer out, we get a commitment. So until then, it's Carter Sports, it's Trojan City, it's USC, so let's go.